Because COVID-19 is affecting both developed and developing economies in very asymmetric ways, our concern is that an uncoordinated, slow-paced global response might jeopardize the crisis management effectiveness and leave the most vulnerable countries behind, with catastrophic consequences for their economies and societies, thus also reducing the confidence on the efficiency of a multilateral response. In a scenario where all existing positions are exacerbated, from the ones that support multilateralism and international cooperation to the most nationalist views, is it possible to generate financial, legal and even social mechanisms that help reconfigure the multilateral system by giving its institutions more independence while at the same time fostering their accountability? When you look at the medical supply, so the face masks, countries within the EU have been fighting over mass, so there has not been there has not been solidarity, which is actually one of the core principles of a union. And projecting that to the entire multilateral system, it is the question: How are we going to explain to our children and to the youth what solidarity means if we cannot practice it? I work on creating access to healthcare in rural, underserved communities in India through social business models. And this has helped me work at an intersection of top-down policy formulations and bottom-up governance accountability structures. This has consistently made me reflect and question, as policymakers and as global governance agenda setters, to forget the communities who are the ultimate benefactors. Even when we talk about public-private partnerships and innovation, we have forgotten a people-centric approach to these processes. Today, working in other G20 platforms such as H20, I also realize how the past global governance agendas have had a tremendous lack of coherence when it comes from multilateral to national to regional to local. So my question is, shouldn't multilateralism 2.0 ensure that we continue to think global but have accountability structures to act local? And how can G20 be driver of a parallel inductive bottom-up approach?